Hello and thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. Today we are here at PV High School, home of the Sea Kings, where you will meet the girls' varsity basketball team. All right, Coach, um, give me kind of an overview of the team this year. Okay, well, we've got kind of a young team this year. So we've got, we have three seniors, we got three juniors, three sophomores, and three freshmen on the team this year. So you can see we're, we're pretty much a, a, a young team. Uh, we've got good leadership out of the three seniors coming out. One of the seniors is uh, she's been in all league for two years, and uh, we look to her for leadership on the team, along with the other two seniors as well. When you have a young team, what's the biggest challenge for those girls to kind of get caught up quickly? Well, you know, sp specifically this year, uh, since we don't have we don't have a JV team this year, so the, the younger kids are you know they're pushed up to the varsity level and uh, you know they're seeing really a lot of uh, better competition at that level than they would at the JV level and unfortunately they're not getting the playing experience that they would at the JV level um, that's why we played we've previously we played 18 games um, before we started our Bay League so hopefully during those 18 games our younger a uh, group of kids were able to get a lot of playing time and getting a lot of good experience there and then getting ready for the Bay League. Most of the girls have been playing either their whole lives or close to it, but Hannah, brand new, first year in basketball, what is that experience like as a coach for you? Yeah, well, this is my this is my first year as a varsity coach. And, you know, the last five years I've been the Freisloff or the JV coach. And I would love to have players like her that come in, you know, and teach them the fundamentals and have the time to teach her and everything. You know, unfortunately, having one team this year, you know, um, working with Hannah and trying to get her, teach her the, the, the basics and everything, um, we've been able to do that, but, you know, not really on a total one on one basis and everything. But, you know, what, she's really picked it up really well this year. Um, you know, what it, what's, what's really good is they don't learn bad habits, right. you know, and so, you know, her shooting style and everything else is the way we've taught her. And so that's, you know, that's really good for her. And, and she's young, so she'll have many years to really learn as well. So. Yes, yes, that, that is correct, yeah. It seems like they're a very close group. They have a lot of team bonding. How important is that? Team bonding is really important. I, I you know, ever since I started coaching, I've always stressed team bonding. You know, team get-togethers, team dinners, uh, going out together, um, you know, having, you know, parties down to the beach club or down to Portuguese Bend Beach Club or something like that to where everybody could get together along with team dinners and, and all that. And I, I think it's, it's real important. You can see this is a very close-knit group of girls. Um, and so it's just you know, and and that you know, and that shows the way they play on the court too as well. So they know each other very well, and uh, and they play well together. What's it been like for you being the varsity coach here for the first year? It's been a challenge. <laughs> it's definitely been a challenge. Um, you know, taking over. Uh, you know, it's it's a different level. Yeah. It's a it's a different level. So it's a different. Uh, it's a challenge that um, you know I've solved. Part seven in the last couple of years, I've been the assistant, but um, you know, being the head coach now and being full responsible for everything, uh, it has been a challenge. What's the message that you want the girls to take away with them to, through this whole experience? Well, it's a life lesson for them. You know, I, I don't want them walking away because you know they know how to play basketball. I want them to walk away knowing, you know, how to deal with situations in life. And that's what I try to teach them, you know, my number one priority is family, then it's school, and then it's basketball. And so, you know, that's what I'm trying to, to stress for them, you know, help them in, with their education, you know, um, close-knit families, all that. And, and, you know, and what they learn on the court, hopefully they'll carry on the rest of their lives. Okay, Kelly, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing basketball since I was five, and I chose it because I, was, I played softball too, but I didn't like softball because it wasn't as fast, because basketball is more like you're constantly moving. Yes. 
Yeah, compared to softball, it's just you're kind of standing waiting. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you if you tried other sports besides basketball. So you tried softball. Anything else? No, just basketball and softball. Okay, that's, yeah. That's kind of enough. Um, what is a message that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, respect. That's really important because if you don't respect your coaches or your players, then it's kind of hard to play with them. So, yeah. And then um, you're a senior now, but is it difficult to kind of balance the school time with the basketball time, or do you sort of get that down after a while? Um, I have it down pretty well. <laughs> it was It's not that hard for me managing my time. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of good at that, so it wasn't hard for me. Okay. And because you've been playing for so long, what do you kind of do from season to season to get a little bit better in your own game? Um, I play in this, like, Asian basketball league, um, like, off season, and, like, yeah, it's just kind of just play games and tournaments. Tell us what that's like. What is that like? Um, it's a lot more relaxed and fun. So it's more just hanging with, playing with your friends and having fun, enjoying playing basketball, yeah. And so are a lot of the girls that play here at PV, are they also in the league too? or? Um, I think like four of us or five of us have played before in that league, so yeah. Very interesting, okay. And then um, how many free throws do you think that you shoot every day? I don't shoot free throws every day. <laughs> well, at practice, we shoot 10, so 10 a day. Okay. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing basketball since four years old. So, yeah, from, like, YMCA, I've been playing for a long time. And I chose it for my sport because I like the team aspect of it. And I've just, just always been playing, so it's always been a part of my life. So... Why not continue it in high school? Did you ever try any other sports? I actually played tennis, so I, I played tennis all four years in high school, too, so, yeah. Okay, interesting. What do you think you learn from one sport that helps you with another, possibly? Since tennis is more of a individual sport, the mental part of it, I would say, is a lot more intense, and so it's a lot of positive thinking, and you always have to be focused for every shot, so I think that... Um, ties in well with basketball too because a lot of times you're relying on lo a lot on your teammates but it's good to be mentally strong yourself too so yeah what do you because you've been playing for so long what do you do to in in between seasons get a little better in your own game um usually it's a lot of dribbling and just shooting because I like to keep those two up but then I think the conditioning aspect is the part where I have to focus the most just because in order to have a good season I want to make sure that I'm prepared beforehand so yeah a lot of practice games because I think the best way to prepare for the game is to actually play games so yeah. Do you have any pregame rituals that you do before a game? Usually I have to drink a lot of water because that's just I just sometimes feel like I get less tired if I have a lot of water in me before, but I usually will listen to music or just kind of think about the game before. So as soon as I get out there, I'm not like frazzled or anything. So. And then, do you, what is your post game meal? Do you eat something different if you win or if you lose? Or usually it depends on just what I have going on the next day and whether I can stay out. But I usually. We usually go eat, like, burgers or something. I don't know. That always is nice. Do you guys hang out together away from basketball, too? Mm -hmm, yeah. A lot of my friends on the team are my friends outside of basketball, too. So we're already really close. And then it's nice to see. It's nice to work with them on the court and be their friend off the court. So, Because you've been doing this, the school thing and the basketball thing, is it difficult to kind of balance the two, or do you pretty much have it down now? It is still difficult, and I think... As you get older, you take more, you take harder classes or you just have more things that come into play. And so it's not really like how well or you imagine or manage the amount of things. Well, it's that too, but then it's also like your mindset. You just have to keep taking it day by day. Yeah. Okay, and then what's the messages or message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? I think it's probably play your hardest because I mean at the end of the day that's all you can really ask for and to enjoy yourself because high school basketball is something that you only get for a small part of your life and it's not, not like anything else really so it's good to enjoy it. How many free throws do you think you shoot a day? 
Me? Probably not too many, actually. Maybe, like, in practice, only about 10, but then outside of practice, I tend to practice free throws a lot because that's, like, a big part of where my scoring comes from, so I have to practice a little bit more for them. Sophia, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing since third grade, um, and I just I really like the team dynamic of basketball. It's a lot of fun. Did you ever think about playing another sport or try another sport? Uh, yeah, I played soccer for a little bit, which was fun, but just not as fun. So, What do you think it was about basketball that made you pick that over? I think it's just like the feeling of making a three or just having like that like yes moment kind of that made me go for it. Okay. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you kind of do from season to season to get a little better? Uh, I do like off-season training, sometimes shooting training, which kind of keeps me in shape and keeps my skills honed, but uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. What are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, it's usually just stay on your man, like most importantly like our confidence. If you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. You have to kind of get back into it. You know, each play is a new play, so that's kind of the big things. And then, is it difficult to kind of balance school time with basketball time, or do you sort of have that figured out now? Um, senior year, I probably have figured out, but I think coming in as a freshman, having to deal with that student-athlete type of thing, it was definitely a little bit difficult, but I have it down now. Okay. Before game, do you have any, like, pregame ritual that you do? Do you listen to music or kind of psych yourself up? What do you do? Uh, just listen to music, you know. We kind of, we have a team huddle. You know, we kind of just, like, hype ourselves up, and then we go out on the court and play. Do you guys have anything that you eat after the games, or how does that work? Uh, usually for tournaments, we get fast food afterwards, which is always fun, and there's usually a lot of places nearby. Okay. And how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Um, I'm, I'm going to say about, we only do like 10 after every practice, but I mean, I think overall I've probably done thousands. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. So I've been playing basketball for five years, and um, I chose it because I used to, well, I've always done swim, but I've always wanted a team sport, so this was like the team sport I chose. Is this everything you thought it would be, or? Yeah, I mean, the whole team's really close, and that's what I was looking for, so we're all like, like a family, so. Are you still swimming? Yes. Okay. What do you think that you have learned from swimming, being a swimmer, that actually helps you with basketball? Uh, endurance, yeah, that's like the biggest thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, what is the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember when you're out there? Uh, to have fun, that's the number one. And then to just give 110% every time we're out there. Seems like this is a very close-knit group. What do you guys do after basketball? Uh, like as a team? Um, we have team dinners every week, so that's like our team bonding experience. And then we have our trips that we take to, this year we went to Palm Springs and San Diego, so, so we're all, we get really close to those trips. Do you guys have like a favorite team meal that you guys eat or? Um, we have a, we usually go to Red Onion, okay. so that's like our most popular one, okay. yeah. Before a game, do you have anything that you do to kind of psych yourself up or listen to music? or? Um, I li definitely listen to music before games, and then Mari gives us a talk, so that's helpful too. Yeah. Okay. And um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? During practice? Or whatever. Um, 20, I would say. I've been playing basketball since I was maybe eight years old. I chose it because all my siblings played it, so it was, I kind of just like went into it like a normal thing. Did you ever play any other sports? Or Yeah, I played soccer as competitively as basketball, but then I had to choose between the two because they're the same season in high school, but I ended up picking basketball. What do you think you liked more about basketball than soccer? I just liked it because less girls played basketball, so it was like easier to kind of get better, I feel like. Is there something you work on from year to year to get a little better in your own game? I just work on my ball handling and my shooting a lot on the off season. Okay. And what's the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Um, just to stay focused and try your best in practice and then you'll get results in the games. Okay. And it seems like you guys are a very close-knit group. What do you guys do together away from basketball? We honestly, we just hang out on the sides like after practices and on the weekends. So they became like my best friends right away. 
How many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day. I shoot 10 at practice, and that's about it. So I've been playing basketball since I was in fifth grade. And I chose it because my dad played it, and I just like wanted to follow in his footsteps. Did you ever try any other sports, or I used to play soccer, and after, um, probably after fifth grade, I quit, and I just focused on basketball. What do you think it is about this sport that made you want to stick with this one? Um, probably the competitive aspect. I really like um, having my team there for me, also, and building those really strong connections. So yeah. Um, it seems like you guys are a very tight-knit group. What kind of things do you do away from basketball? We do a lot of team dinners, a lot of team bonding. It's really fun, and I think that those are the things that helped us really connect and um, become like a team. Okay. What are the messages that the coach always wants you to remember? Probably just trust each other, trust, have, um, like, trust one another, and ha um, have the game like, flow to you, and be patient, because everything will come to you. And is it difficult to kind of balance the basketball time with the school time, or do you sort of have that down? Um, it's really hard sometimes, but uh, PV has block, and I guess that's really helped me get through the student-athlete experience. And it's also really helped, too, and the teachers are really understanding of that, and also the coaches. And so, yeah, it's really fun being a student-athlete here at PV High. Do you have, before games, do you have any, like, pregame ritual that you do, or...? Um, we have like a dance party before. We listen to some music and I'll get like hyped up. Personally, I like to listen to my own music and get into my own little corner and focus. But it's really fun to let loose before the game and get everybody energized and get ready for the game. Okay. How many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Free throws? I try to get at least 20. You know, just try to get my keep my touch going. Um, I'm a shooter on the team and it's really important to keep that touch. I've been playing basketball for a good like six years. Um, my whole family plays basketball, and my dad kind of started started us off young. We've been playing since we were like five or six, and um, I don't know, it's just kind of running the family. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I played soccer for about three years, and then I just came back to basketball because I liked it so much better. Really? What do you, what do you think it was about the game that you liked better? Um, I don't know. It was just like soccer. It just didn't like really speak to me. And then when I came back to basketball, I was like, okay, yeah, this is my sport. So I've just been playing it ever since. Okay, is there because you've been playing a really long time? How do do you work on specific things from season to season to get a little better? Um, yes. Um, in the mornings, like before school, I usually go to the gym with my dad, and we work on like my jump shot or just like layups and like certain things that just help me get better, and like certain things that he's like seen in the game that he wants me to work on. So I I usually work on those things. I'm going to ask you how many free throws you shoot every day. Oh, yeah. Um, we started the work off by shooting like 50 free throws, and we end the workout with shooting like 50 free throws. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the message that the coach want, wants you to remember? Um, he wants us to really have fun and like just have a good time while we're playing. It's not necessarily about winning all the time, it's just about getting better and like having fun and enjoying the game. You guys seem like a very tight-knit group. Tell me about what you do away from basketball. Yeah. Um, we're all really close. Like, uh, I hang out with all of, like my basketball teammates like outside of basketball. Like, we go to lunch together. We hang out on the weekends. We go to like parties or like we're just all really close. And like I feel like that's what made us better is because like we're so close and like team bonding and chemistry all that while playing basketball. So, do you guys have like a pregame ritual that you do before games or do you? Yeah, we do. We listen to a, a, like a one song. It's No Guidance by Chris Brown and Drake. We listen to that every um, game. And um, we also just kind of like get in a circle before the game and just kind of say, um, and then our team captain, Mari, she tells us like what was going to happen in the game and how like what we're going to play and what we're going to do. So that's kind of what we do before every game. Is it difficult to kind of balance basketball time with school time or do you sort of have that figured out? It is really hard to balance because sometimes you get, really, uh, you get home really late for practices and like, it's just difficult because you have a lot of schoolwork and then basketball, it just gets you home really late. And then um, you have like tests and things and it's, it's just hard to balance. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out, but it's still hard. Yeah. I've been playing basketball since I was like six. Um, I chose it just because my whole family, my aunts, my uncles, my parents, they all played. And it just seemed so fun to me. So I tried it out and I really liked it. Okay. Um, what was it about the game itself that you liked? Um, just how people like can do different things with the ball. Like you can do so many different, like you can do so many different combinations when you're dribbling and all that stuff. And there's so like so many different positions you can play. So. Okay, and then um, what's the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? 
Um, just keep your head up and just keep playing the game no matter what happens. And every time you walk out of the gym, you need to walk out with your dignity, you know? Um, because you've been playing a long time, what do you work on kind of from season to season to get a little better? Where do I work on? No, just, yeah, what do you work on? Oh, um, I'd say my ball handling has gotten better since I first started. Um, I play more of a middle position, so I don't have to handle the ball as much, but I just want to be ready because I do have yeah. Do you guys have any like pregame rituals that you do before games? Yeah, we actually play a song, No Guidance, and we kind of just talk and kind of just sing to the song before the game. And me and my friend Meg, who's on the team, uh, play cards on the bus rides to the game. So. Does that kind of relax you? Yeah, it's just super fun. It's entertaining. You know, it gets our minds off the whole big thing. So. What do you guys do for team bonding? Um, we have team dinners once every week during the season and then well we spend six days a week So we bond, you know, whatever even if it's from running or from just being in the locker room together Do you have any favorite dinners? Um, we actually have Hawaiian food tonight, so I'm excited for that mm -hmm. What does that consist of? Uh, I don't know like me and Hawaiian bread, I guess <laughs> That's Perfectly fine. How many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Free throws, we do 10 at the end of practice, and then if you're done early, you do more. But I'd say maybe 25 free throws. I, I shoot 25 free throws every day, yeah. Okay. And then is it difficult to kind of balance basketball time with school time, or do you have that down? Well, I'm a freshman, so it's different for me, you know. I don't have it down yet. It's it's a lot because it's six, six days a week. It's Monday through su uh, Saturday. But you kind of just learn to get your stuff done, you know. I've been playing since third grade, and my dad got me into it, so, yeah. Did you ever try any of the sports? I play volleyball and soccer. Well, I used to play soccer. And do you still play volleyball or club volleyball? Okay. What do you think that you you learned from volleyball that actually helps you on the basketball court? Um, I think the agility really helps. I learned to like move better, and some of the movements just they um, correspond. Okay. Um, because you've been playing a really long time, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? For basketball or volleyball? Basketball. Um, shooting, definitely, I think, that and defense. Gonna, that was going to be one of the questions I asked you, is how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Uh, ten in practice. We do ten. Right, and then what's the message that the coaches want you to remember? Um, they emphasize a lot of respect and teamwork. Okay. And then do you guys have like a, um, a, like a team ritual you do before every game? Um, we listen to a lot of music on the bus rides or in the locker room, and that's pretty much it. Bella, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing since like third grade and I'm a freshman now. Uh, I like it. It's just fun. It's fast paced. So, Did yeah. you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I did softball, uh, lacrosse, and I think I might do track and field this season. Wow. Yeah. Do you, are, so are you still simultaneously doing other sports? Uh, not at the moment, no. Okay. So just basketball right now. What do you think that you learned playing so many other sports that actually helps you now in basketball? Um, I think just persevering. And like having confidence and endurance to get through practices and games and stuff like that. Okay. What are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, just play your hardest. Good sportsmanship. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. And then, is it difficult to kind of balance a basketball time with a school time, or do you sort of have that figured out yet? Um, I think I've figured it out pretty well. I'm kind of on a schedule, so uh, it's good to stay organized. But I think I'm doing pretty well okay. so far. What do you work on to sort of get a little better from season to season since you've been playing a long time? Um, I think just working on endurance and just practicing constantly. Never really taking like a long period of time off. Okay. How many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Ten-ish. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Well, I just started basketball this year, so I'm new to the team. Yeah, and I guess I chose this because I'm pretty tall, so might as well make use of my height. Did you play any other sports before this? No, I didn't. I took PE. Oh my gosh. Okay, so tell me why you decided on this sport. Well, I mean, I'm tall, and everyone tells me you should go out for basketball because you're really tall. So I'm like, I'll just give it a try, and yeah, that's how I'm here. <laughs> because this is so new, I'm, what's it been like for you so far? It's been pretty cool. Everyone here is really good, so it's really cool. And I don't really see a lot of girls play basketball, so it's pretty cool to join the team and, you know, have the experience. What's been the biggest challenge coming in, never have played, and learning this game? 
Um, pretty much everything. I don't really know anyone, so it's really hard for me to like, you know, blend in and stuff. And I've never had any experience, so it's pretty hard to like do the drills that they do and stuff, but I'm getting used to it. Um, basically just learning how to play, learning the rules. I really, I had like absolutely no experience before this. So this is like really, really new to me. So like the whole entire thing is just challenging. <laughs> you know what? This is so exciting, I think, because it's it's got to be... I mean, fun also to come into something new and learn. Yeah, I've never been part of a team before, so it's pretty cool to play with these girls and stuff. I know that you guys do a lot of team building. Does that help a new person coming in? Yeah, yeah, it definitely does, yeah. <laughs> what's the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Yeah, just basically just keep trying. Don't give up. Like, if you miss and stuff, just, like, just keep going. It's okay. okay. And um, how many free throws do you practice every day? Um... Well, at the end of class, we do like 10. Now, these ladies know an awful lot about professional basketball here in Los Angeles, so I had to ask, who's the better team, the Lakers or the Clippers? Here's what they had to say. And if I asked you, who's the better team, the Lakers or the Clippers, what would you say? The Lakers. Okay. <laughs> who's the better team in L.A., the Lakers or the Clippers? I'm a Lakers fan, so and I always, I'll always be a Lakers fan, but... I think Lakers. Who's the best player on the Lakers? I don't want to say LeBron, but probably LeBron. <laughs> and then, um, who's the better team in LA, the Lakers or the Clippers? I mean, I'm a Lakers fan since like way back with my dad, so I'm gonna have to go Lakers. Who's the best player on the Lakers? Um, I mean, LeBron's there now, which is you know, obviously he's a power. Um, but I think the Lakers are kind of balanced, honestly. Who's the better team, the Lakers or the Clippers? The Lakers. <laughs> who do you think the best person on the Lakers is? All of them. <laughs> who do you think is a better team in L.A., the Lakers or the Clippers? Well, the Clippers beat the Lakers twice this season, but I'll always be a Lakers fan, so I'm going to say the Lakers. <laughs> who's the best player on the Lakers? LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> and who's the better team in L.A., the Lakers or the Clippers? That's a tough one. Um, I personally like the Clippers just because of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, and I think they make a really good team. And also, like, the bench players like Lou Williams and um, the other starters like um, Patrick Beverly and all those players make the LA Clippers a really good team, and I think they really work well together, so I'm hoping for a championship. Who's the better team in L.A., the Lakers or the Clippers? Um, I think the Lakers right now. Um, they're the better team, and like LeBron and A.D. like working together, I think that's just a, a good combo. Um, who's the better team in Los Angeles, the Lakers or the Clippers? Um, my brother is a big fan of the Clippers, but I'd say Lakers. <laughs> in Los Angeles, who is the better team, the Lakers or the Clippers? Lakers, yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite player on the Lakers? Um, probably LeBron James, because... Yeah, he's just an overall good player. Who's the better team in Los Angeles, the Lakers or the Clippers? I say Lakers. Who's your favorite player on the Lakers? Uh, LeBron James, yeah. So, uh, Lakers or Clippers? Lakers. <laughs> and do you have a favorite player on the Lakers? Um, probably Anthony Davis. Okay. Yeah. Even the coach had a theory about who is the better team in Los Angeles? Okay, Coach, I asked the girls, so I have to ask you, who is the better basketball team, the Lakers or the Clippers? Oh, the Clippers, absolutely. But, but you know who the best team is? It's the Indiana Pacers. And you know who the best player is? Larry Bird. I mean, that, that's no, no doubt. That, that's it. There's not even a question, right? No, no. You ask every one of my players. You ask my daughters at home who the best player is, and they'll tell you. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field, Local Edition.